All right, gang, I'm gonna holler at y'all real quick. This video is actually not gonna be too long. So while I got some time, I'm gonna talk to you guys like some FaceTime. I noticed something, bro, about like just the concept of energy and how it works and how this fly got into my damn car. Get the hell out. As soon as I wanna open my car, dog, like these bugs, these flies, they be active. You know, it's the summertime, it be lit as hell. But one thing that I noticed about like just the soul, the spirit, and the soul, the spirit being electrified and being magnetized, like that, I see that to be like a real phenomenon. And one of the like many examples that like God has put before me is the fact that like, when you talk about culture and you talk about people, like where people are from and stuff like that, everybody kind of has like this sort of signature energy if you are, for example, if you're a Mexican, and um, again, I'm, I'm gonna try my best not to sound crazy. I'm not trying to say anything to offend people, but when you when you think of Mexican people, the culture that you think of is hardworking. You know what I'm saying? Up early in the morning, taking care of business. You know, being family oriented. Uh, as far as the women, they're taking care of their their spouse. They're doing what they got to do. Uh, when you think of, like me personally, I can hold you. When I think of the Dominican women, because I'm not going to lie, that was one of my exes that I was dealing with last year. Um, and man, that, that was a crazy roller coaster, bro. Um, we talk about dealing with Dominican women. They are, they, they, they will love you. But from my experience, they're a little bit aggressive. They're more so in your face. This is my man and and you and I'ma love you and all this other stuff. Like they're very, very in your face and very aggressive. Um and the and the Dominican that I happened to be dating at the time, she was mixed with a bunch of other stuff uh, astrologically. And I was just like, Yeah, bruh, like you try to you could try to with anybody else, but you're not about to sit here and try to dictate me and push me around, right? So they have that type of energy. Um, when you go to America, people out here, we talk about being African-American. We have this certain sort of like energy that we all kind of possess. Now me personally, bro, I personally don't have any roots out here. I am a first generation American. So it's like, I can relate and I may sound like an like African-American. I may, you know, have the, the slang and whatnot. But at the end of the day, within my blood, I'm actually Jamaican. And that made me realize something too, bro. Like, when I got a chance to, you know, just look at my culture and look at where I came from, I realized, like, you know, Jamaicans, they they talk, them talk with a certain type of energy, you know? Like, it's just, and it really don't matter what color you are, because, of course, you got black uh, Jamaicans, of course, but you also have white Jamaicans, you got Chinese Jamaicans. If you're if you're a yadi and you know what what me I talk, then you know what I'm saying you can you could like say it in the comment section. So it's like every culture has their own signature like energy type of like spunk to like how they care about the, how they care about how they carry themselves and how they go about certain things, right? So even with the white people, you have white people, you got you got uh, white dudes that. Yeah, man, they talk with a certain emph uh, emphasis. You know what I'm saying? Again, everybody has their ways. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the cultures across the world. Shout out to the Australians. Shout out to the UK. I'm sure the UK, y'all have like a certain type of energy, like how y'all carry yourselves, right? With all that being said, how does this actually tie into, you know, retaining your energy and magnetizing yourself and just electrifying yourself? Make sure that number one again if you happen to be somebody who's probably from a different country and you move to this country or whatever uh i would say do some research on your on your background like like really look at your roots and stuff like that and take pride in that as well me personally dog i'm not gonna lie i haven't really been taking pride in like you know admitting or saying that i'm jamaican because number one i wasn't born there my parents are from jamaica my parents was born and raised there or whatnot. I wasn't born in Jamaica. So if I was to go to Jamaica right now, them and if I try to talk 
patois and they're gonna look at me like i'm crazy like oh you you're one american or even worse they probably might think that i'm trying to appropriate their language i'm like nigga like my peoples is from here like what is y'all talking about and then if i try to be out here in america and say like yeah man my parents is from jamaica you know what i'm saying people are gonna be like oh well you're not really american you ain't really black like you you just like a you just like a uh just like the people from jamaica or whatnot so it's like whatever after I realized, like, damn, bro, like, my cert my people have a certain swag and certain energy that they, they kind of carry themselves with, dog. That just made me realize, like, okay, number one, that's going to build more confidence within myself just by staying in tune with my roots. You feel me? Because, again, my parents are from Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? You talk about the blood that's flowing through my body. It's, it's Jamaican. You feel me? But I am a first-generation American. But no matter what culture you have, it's all about how you carry yourself from within. And I've seen so many people from different cultures, and, and, and I could actually talk about this topic because there's a lot of people from around the world that watches my videos. So shout out to you guys, wherever you guys are watching from. Um, I realize in cultures, different cultures, like there's going to be good people and there's going to be bad people. It don't matter, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like, how do you control yourself from within? How do you charge yourself up and level yourself up from within? You know what I'm saying? It all starts with discipline. It all starts with, it's not even really so much about semen retention or anything, because, you know, on this channel, I talk a lot about, you know, uh, retaining your seed, and that's the most natural way, or one of the more natural ways you can charge yourself up just by simply not releasing even if you have a girlfriend you just not say yeah for just just kind of you, you you can't see i was about to say something in pato but like again i'm gonna sound crazy i know the jamaican the real jamaicans in, in the comments as you be like good just chill just just stick to your native language but when it comes to even if you have a girlfriend or whatnot like bro you can enjoy her y'all can have an amazing time but if you give yourself time to like actually charge up and not release you're going to see a difference in energy. You're going to feel a difference in how you even speak and how you carry yourself. You, you see what I'm saying? And it's almost like you get to, it's almost like your vi your soul is vibrating. Yes, it's within the body, but now your soul is like kind of like shining through your body. So when you say certain things or when you're doing certain things or like whatever, if you could just be going to work or something like that, it's always going to be like a little extra uh pizzazz for lack of a better term um and people will notice that people are gonna be like damn bro like I, I i mess with your energy it really don't matter what color you are bro you know what i'm saying like it really don't matter what color you are though so it's like regardless of your uh particular dna you know what i'm saying uh again dig into your culture you feel me do the research uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Like, you, I don't care if you're from Ireland. Look into people from Ireland. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'll be surprised. But I just want to holler at y'all real quick about that. Like, remember, just remember from no matter where you're from, you can always, you know, have that energy signature where, like, you just stand out or, you know, your your soul starts to, sh to shine through your words, your actions, your body language and all that. You feel me? And, you know, just continue the journey, bro. But I had to get that off my chest. Uh, I'm going to go to the crib and I'm going to drop another video later. So I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next one. Peace.